What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Pop Life Toys. We got some things to open today. And oh my gosh, my GameStop manager and I searched and searched random zip codes and managed to find a score that I could not believe we could find. So we're going to have some fun today. Got some boxes from Allison, also known as Allie Pop, on Instagram and YouTube. Um, and from Papa Pop on Instagram, uh, to me, he's known as Jason Woodworth, has become one of my new buddies. Uh, we did a trade for a chomp and some other things. He shipped me a single pop, and the post office jacked him up at rates and charged him $13.45. I'm going to teach him how to use Pirate Ship. He is Papa Pop because his kids were collecting and they got him into collecting. I am sending Papa Pop a message right now to literally let him know I'm about to open his box. Y'all won't know what it is because I actually managed to keep my mouth shut on this one, um, which is rare for me. But it is a Star Wars Grail, Mini Grail, Mega Grail, however you want to look at it. Um, and I'm excited. I went live now because there's other stuff happening tonight I don't want to step on. Um, I will show you what we got from GameStop that actually came in today. In just a minute. I got Allison's mystery boxes, the two for 90. And this is a trade I did for a chomp. And in exchange, I got a pop and cash. One that I've wanted. What's up, Papa Pop? Hey, man, if you want to come hang out with us, if you've ever been live on YouTube, you can do it from your phone. Um, I'm going to drop the link. Tori, if you're not at work and you want to come hang out with us. Uh, you're more than welcome, Bradley. Um, if you're feeling better today, man, but we're just going to have a little fun, do a little bit of early afternoon unboxing. I got a single pop in this big old box. Can you tell it's a grail? It's I think a hundred plus dollar pop. I'm so excited. So without further ado, sparkle, sparkle, let's get into it. And that sparkle, sparkle, if you don't know, is an honor of two peas and a pop. They're not making videos right now. But if you have not seen their channel, go watch it. Steven and Jessica are hilarious. Steven does all kinds of voice stuff. Really good Sean Connery. So as far as I know, this should just be one pop. Post office charged you $13.45, Jason. I need to teach you how to ship with pirate ship. You could have shipped this thing for $4. Wow. Excellent packaging. Awesome. Excellent packaging, but over the top, nonetheless, so to say. I'd go out of business if I shipped like that. You put $200 in insurance on it too? Oh, man. Oh, yes, we got one of his stickers. Oh, it might be the very first one that goes up. I don't know yet if I'm going to put them right there or I'm going to make a board. Ooh, baby. I just got to admire it for a second before I show it to you. And he put it in a vaulted vinyl. Oh, man. Papa Pop knows how to do some trading. It is the Fugitive Toys exclusive wicket. Oh, man, am I excited. Look at the set on the back of that box. I don't have a single one of those pops. But you know what that means. It is wicked. Let's pop them out of this vaulted vinyl. Let's take a look at them real quick. Now, you told me that there were some, like, claw marks on the box from where the sorter machine back in 2013 was grabbing the pop. So I knew about those. But there's plenty of videos on how to take those little bitty indentions and creases out of the box. But his corners are in great shape. There's no lift areas 
And, and you know, we went over the pop. I just want to tell y'all, guys, outside of those little lift pieces, which can easily be pulled out, this pop is near mint, and it's from 2013. You know what that means, guys. Let me go grab it. I'm down to my last two pack. That's going in a pop armor. If only they made a pop armor for that bank robber joker, I would feel so much better. If y'all know of a hard stack for two packs, please let me know. Oh, that baby's hit $500. And it should just keep going up. Heath Ledger gone. And Joaquin Phoenix taking over as the joker. And 480 pieces. I just wish it wasn't a Gemini. Oh, smells just beautiful. That gorgeous pop armor, courtesy of seven bucks a pop. They are sold out of pop protectors, but they do have pop armors in stock. Um, pop shield, like from seven bucks a pop, like my seven bucks a pop pop armor folks or somebody else I don't know about. Oh, that's how he belongs. And you know what? They stack so well. Watch this. They literally lock into place. So we're going to move our Harley. Uh, we're going to move Joker down here. I think it's sitting on the back of the printer. We're going to put Harley bombshell on top. And it locks into place. It ain't going nowhere. So we got Grievous and we got a Wicked. Woo, baby. That's a good way to start a video. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I did see that. But I sometimes when I read, my brain just doesn't process everything. And I get a little bit confused. And I don't know. I will tell you, when soft protectors come back in stock, my Lucas protectors are on the exact same um, container on the water. So when theirs come back in stock, don't go buy them. Hit me up. And the only way I can get them to you with free shipping and get them to you cheap as you can buy the regular ones or close to as cheap is if you take a 200 pack because that's the cheapest way they'll send them. They come boxed in 200s. But if I have to ship them to you, it'll be a dollar a protector. If you buy them that way, it'll be like 65 cents a protector, maybe 70 cents with Lucas on the top of it. So I'm super excited. Lee at seven bucks a pop had enough faith in me that he did a 5,000 protector order because that's what it takes. All right. Do we do the GameStop pickup that's so tall you can almost see it in the corner? Do we show you the Echo Dot with the clock in it that we got? So I have Alexa in the shop now to change my lights. That way I don't have to program everything. Or the replacement mouse pad for the one that burned out. Yeah, a lot of stuff today. Or the geeky computer stuff to bridge some cables together. We're not going to talk about that. I say we go straight for Alley Pops mystery boxes. Um, hey, Christina, can you go tell Allison real quick? I'm about to open her mystery boxes and see if she wants to come in the chat or come on, on video with us real quick. And if anybody wants to come in live with us, guys, the link is right there. Jump in there with us. We're going to have some fun. Really smart idea a couple people have had to saran wrap boxes and then wrap them. I ain't got time for that. But perfect condition boxes. I took box number two and box number 18. Because sometimes I act like a two-year-old, but I would just wish I was 18 again. No responsibility. Um, I am... Sending Allison a message as we speak. I bet y'all are too. And I'm also going to go to her page so we can grab the picture of the top pulls. Because unlike... Sean Ryan, I'm not prepared at the start of a video. It just doesn't happen. 
There we go. All right, let's send her a message. All right, she's active, so hopefully she'll see that um, and come hang out with us for a minute, even in the chat. That'd be nice. Wow, it is grainy on. Does my video look clear to y'all? Because I'm seeing it on YouTube, and it looks like I'm in like, like dial-up clarity. No, very grainy. That's weird. Um, let me check my settings. I might have to come out and come right back in. I'm streaming in 720. Um, not clearing a messenger. All right, guys, I'm going to leave for a second. I'll be right back. Does somebody want to come in so they can talk while I'm gone? Y'all don't leave me. I'll be right back. We're going to open our mystery boxes. All right, how about that? Is that better? Let's see. Let's check out the YouTube. View on YouTube. Okay, let's see. Oh, it still looks grainy. What is going on? It shouldn't. I have a clear feed. Let me close some stuff down. Oh, it looks better. Okay, I'm going to close some processes that are running that are probably bogging it down. Um, give me one second to be a little geeky here and close some of the apps that stay open in the background. Um, like all of our game loaders, like Origin and Epic and now Blizzard, because when you want to play games, you can't just go through Xbox. Y'all know how that is, though, maybe. All right, what else can I close? I think that's everything that needs to be closed. All right, I should be as clear as I'm going to get now. Hopefully that made it better. Can we get a thumbs up at the chat or a hammer time? We're trying to give Allison just a minute while we see if we can get Allison. How about I show you the thing that we found by typing in random zip codes within 100 miles and finding a store, a GameStop that was open and had one. You want to cut this thing open first while we wait and see if Allison can come hang out with us for a minute? I'm dragging it out, but guys, oh, this is my first uh, Black Series FX. It's not an Elite because Obi-Wan's was kind of a basic saber, I guess. It's number nine, but I do have the ones I want pre-ordered. I managed to find the pre-orders that were sold out at GameStop at Big Bad Toy Shop. No, that is not a dirty adult website. That is a toy store where they sell expensive toys and normal price toys. Um, if you've ever thought a $100 Funko Pop was expensive, statues is where the real money is. That is why I do not own statues that you can't buy in GameStop. Because those are halfway affordable. There's nothing in there. I did bring the batteries. Oh, I left something I picked up. Who was that again? Oh, that's a cable. Okay. Y'all already see that. Been watching Clone Wars. Really awesome. Man, this thing is some really high quality. All right. Let's see if Redneck Me can figure this out. It says unscrew here to insert batteries. All right. It's got the nice little hook on it. I'll show you all this in just a minute. Let me angle that camera down just a bit since we're doing the unboxings. All right. It said batteries not included, and they put batteries in it. I wonder if they were showing it at the store. My GameStop manager did give me a shelfware discount because of how beat up it was. Let me get these out of here. Oh, you got to take the screw out to get the batteries out. Okay. 
we're going to see if they work. I guess I should have pushed the button. It just said batteries not included. So, you know, I just assume, but you know what they say when you assume. Can't be cool like Travis. Oh, uh, it's Obi-Wan's. Oh, if you can't tell, let's see if I change some lighting, if you can tell. Let's see if I turn everything in the background red, if you can tell. Now, there we go. Oh, guys. I don't know what all the buttons on this thing do. That's a belt hook. Oh, yeah. So, and you can hear it. See, as it goes up. So, I have two Vaders coming brand, or not Vaders. I have two of Darth Maul Sabres coming brand new um, from the Disney store with Honey. I got a really good coupon. All right, let's go back to blue so we don't look ridiculous. All right, there we go. Sorry. If you don't use them, Hue lights are amazing. They're a little bit pricey, but you buy them once and they should last for 10 years. They come in these awesome stands. Literally, all you do is put the saber through them and lean them up like this, and the saber weight balances the stand. It's freaking awesome, guys. So, lightsaber number two. That one actually has sound. Now we get on to two mystery boxes from none other than Alipop. Um, I don't know if I've got Instagram reply. Okay, she's at dinner with her boyfriend at their her parents' house or his parents' house. So she can't come on. Does anybody want to come on and co-host with me and be my PPG person? Anybody prepared at the drop of a hat? Miss Christina Payne, Miss Gorgeous Christina Payne. You want to come hang out with us for a minute? Jerry, you want to come hang out with us for a minute, brother? You got good videos. Sarah, B-Dog, anybody. I know Tori would if he wasn't at work. I got a 18, 1989 Joker chase. Um... Sarah's loading up PPG. Sarah's always awesome about that. Um, I had the two, and it just wasn't something I needed bad enough to keep. The auction community bought that. Oh, cool. Flash Ray's going to come in with us. All right. So we opened Pop and Pops, and if you can see it, you can't really because it's the, the haze. We're going to have to find a way. I'm going to have to start shooting videos. I'm going to put a table and set a tripod up. Um, oh, a chunk. I pre-ordered two more, wait, three more today. Let me see. I can't even remember all of them. I've got Dooku's pre-ordered at GameStop from Big Bad Toy Store. And no, that's not an adult toy store. It's literally toys. I put them in my loot pile, which means when they come in, they hold them and I can ship all at once or I can cancel them. So I've got the Mace Windu uh, Saber pre-ordered. Which I couldn't find at any GameStop, and that is just an FX. And then I have the Black Series Revan Force FX Elite lightsaber pre ordered, which will be played by John Wick and has yellow, purple, and red in it because of his change from the light side to the dark side, and then yellow to where he was in between. Jerry taught me that the other night. So, ah. Uh, Sorry, I'm looking at pictures and not sharing a screen, but I don't want to scare everybody off with lightsabers. I'm just waiting for Flash Ray to jump in, and then we're going to open some boxes. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to split the Pokemon up. I know Papa Pop needed one or two of them. Um, I know K Titus needs commons to go to Japan, so I might split some stuff up. I might do some waffles. 
maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night. I'm not sure yet. Um, and we might do them by the pictures where you got a big one and a bunch of little ones with it. So it match sets. And then we'll look at PPG and factor in shipping and we'll get a good price like we always do. Um, I'm going to drop that link one more time. Don't want to share a screen. Or do I want to share a screen? Um, uh, do, 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 do. Yes, she's 30 away from 500. Holy crap. You get paid on Fridays. All right, Chunk. Well, maybe we'll go live. Maybe we'll wait and do it Saturday night when Jarhead's with us. And we always have our hot sauce Saturdays. When would be a better time to waffle than that? We should make them eat waffles with hot sauce on them, with hot maple syrup. He likes spicy maple syrup. I know that because I think it's weird. Uh, Flash Ray, you click on that link right there and follow two little things, and then in 30 seconds she'll be in. Um. If you're on a computer, Chrome is the best browser to use. It really will only let you use that. If you're on a, well, you're booting your computer up. Um, only if you let me see them first and see if it's something I want, Chuck. No, yes. Um, you can bring some pops to Waffle, buddy. You've been a good friend. Um, you could come on with us too. Uh, right now, Chunk, there's the link. If you've got a shirt on and your hands in appropriate places, come hang out with us. I'm so, dude, guys, y'all don't know the anticipation to open these boxes. Like, I'm so excited. Waiting for flash ray is killing me. So if y'all are waiting anxiously, it's killing me too. Got my filing cabinet in and my crappy one just to sit my printer on. Got it for 10 bucks right down the road. Trying to figure out vacation money for June 1st. I think if you got some good stuff to put up for Waffle, we can help you with some of that money, brother. I know I don't mind supporting some of that. Uh, Flash Ray, you coming, man? Make sure you mute the YouTube side, but you're going to want to look at the comments from YouTube. I'll show you all that real quick. It's easy because you can only see the comments on the StreamYard side, so you pop out the chat. Less than two minutes. All right. You pop out the chat from YouTube and you use the chat from YouTube and the video from StreamYard. Otherwise, it's going to throw you off completely. Um, so I have not uploaded the, lo the latest footage from lunchtime, nor have I taken the drone out because it looks like rain and got an updated pictures. But my backyard is nothing but dirt right now. In fact... Like this clay rock break apart found formation rolled down and hit the baseboard to my building right in front of where I sit. It was so freaking loud. There is a literal. Um, <laughs> I love that. Supposedly they all turn on with different noise too. Where is LBD when you need them? For this not to be the Black Series, I can only imagine what comes with the Black Series. Yeah, so we found this in a store in Georgia, which is a state away. And I called the store and I said, hey, man, this is the store number that I shop at. I'm going to need you, if you don't mind, to box that up and mail it down to my store. Here's the store number. And he said, I don't know if I can find a box like that, but I will try. So I walk in the store and my buddy, the store manager, never helped me find a chase, but called me when pre-orders came in, called me when new pre-orders dropped. He's been good to me without being unfair. Yeah, I'm in Bama. Where are you at? I got a Nick Saban signed pop and a Jalen Waddle pop sitting in the house. You can imagine what he signed. I did not get those signed though. I don't like those crowds. Um, I'm literally waiting on flash Ray to open alley pop mystery boxes. So in my anticipation, I'm pulling stickers off the ones that don't belong. 
Superior Hero, if you want to come and hang out with us for a minute, especially if you're in Bama or close by, the link is right above you. The last comment I made. Get your butt in here. Before you join the Army. So the day I left the Navy, I came straight back to Bama. And outside of the first two weeks of my life, I have lived in Alabama my entire life. Except when the military told me I had to live somewhere else. Did not. Wasn't crazy about Connecticut. Not as much good food as you get in the South. Um, Virginia was okay, but Hampton Roads uh, had way too many people. Where Norfolk Base is. And like 17 other bases. Um, so, nah, Alabama's home. But if you can jump in the live, I command you to come hang out with us. Yeah, you know I'm a dork. I didn't even plan the Star Wars shirt this morning. I just opened my drawer to see what I had, and I grabbed the Star Wars because I saw it. This is literally a Target pickup for $12, and it's one of the Star Wars brand. And flash rate, oh my gosh. Uh, I got to have my lightsaber ready. $12, and it's one of the Star Wars brand. All right. Turn off your audio on YouTube. Mute your audio on YouTube. And then pop out the chat from YouTube and watch on StreamYard, and it won't confuse you. All right. It's too hot for that. Uh, YouTube is already... Muted. Let me pop up the chat. So I put the chat over on the left and um, never been out to the West Coast. Nope, sure not. I'm over uh, here on the West Coast, California. You're in, you're, you're in California? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, my area, uh, we're still waiting to open things back up. Oh. My GameStop's only allowed to have five people in the store at a time. All right. Without further ado, we're going to open box number two because we're – no, no, no. We're going to open 18 because I want to act like a two-year-old last. There was a very specific reason I picked in these. Uh, lived in Heflin. All right. Born at Fort McClellan. I know where that is, believe it or not. That's north of Birmingham, isn't it? Um, I live in Alabaster, but I've lived in Hoover. Uh, St. Clair County, Springville, tiny little town. When Walmart came to town, we got two traffic lights and a water tower because oh. the water system couldn't handle it. All right, so we got two pops in here, like we knew. It was, uh, oh, I was going to her page to try to get what it was. Love so that. it was two pops. I can pull it. I'll share the screen. I have her right here. She was going to come in, but she is eating at... With her parents or boyfriend's parents. Um, Basically family. Okay, so, yeah, family. I need to shave. Okay, I think this is... <laughs> no, nope, that's a different mystery box. I'm trying to find her mystery box, guys. She's got a sold-out picture over one of them. Hopefully she has a picture that doesn't show sold out. Because if she does, we can only see a few of them. All right. I think I'm pretty good set. I got the chat over here. I got StreamYard good, and I got PPG on the other side. Was this really the one? I didn't even look at what the top hits were. Holy crap. Was V for Vendetta in this run? Yeah, because the Chase Hellboy was in here. And the Patronus Ron Weasley, which I didn't get. All right, there's a, a Rainbow Batman. I don't know if somebody's already pulled it. Um, Guys, I know, points, right? I don't know if she ships everything in protectors. Uh, let me share this, which is what I meant to do. I have things we call in here called squirrels, which is when I get distracted and I don't do what I said I'm going to do. So it happens from time to time. Oh, yes. Getting distracted really does happen a lot. Okay, so we can kind of see what's there. We know that's a Friday the 13th pop up top. I'll jump on 100% next time I'm cooking dinner. Uh, Saturday night, send me a message. You can jump on with me and Jarhead. Jarhead lives in Oregon, but he's an Alabama soul, I tell you. All right, so that's in a protector. 
And that one's in a protector. So maybe she's doing like the really good people and putting everything in protectors now. Or maybe I got something. So this was 50 ship or two for 90 guaranteed PPG of 40. So after shipping, it's guaranteed what I paid for it. All right, y'all see what we got. We're going to go back to here. Um, actually, we're going to go to this one and put you tiny for a minute right there. Hey, there we, go. we look at pop number one, which is the witchy poo. I think that's a really good pull. Um, my wife's calling me. Hold on one second. She wanted to know where I was. I said, I'm live right now so I can spend time with the family tonight. So, Witchy Poo, she's even doing like some of the really good ones. $22. Toy Tokyo, 2019. Limited edition. I do not collect Witchy Poo HR Puff and stuff. I would say I'd put it on my list like Jetta does, but I'm not going to do that. So, 22 bucks. You can check, see if it's changed, because PPG's been climbing, if you haven't noticed. Um, I, had a I, I couldn't even read how to spell that. People are going crazy buying pops right now. We got a note. Sarah got 17 bucks on PPG for that one. 17? Yeah. Okay, so it dropped a little bit. With the Toy Tokyo sticker? Well, we are going to go by the value she had on 510 of 20, which is the date she put. And I like that she put the date. So there's no question. Let me turn that light down some so we don't have as much glare. If you don't have a stream deck and you do a lot of streaming, oh, it can do everything. All right. Witchy Poo, 22 bucks is what she had written. And that is fine. PPG changes um, day by day. But my bank robber joker two pack still at five hundred. Hey. I don't know what the the wicket's worth. Can somebody look that up? The fugitive toys exclusive wicket number twenty six. It's flocked, I think. All right, what do we got? It's Star Wars. It's the Boba Fett I don't have. Oh yes, that's a twenty dollar pop. But I don't care. That's added to my collection. That a uh, wicket. What's the sticker on it? Uh, Fugitive Toys. It's flopped too. It's a uh, hundred and five bucks. Yeah, it went up since I got it from. Uh, um. So the one downside to putting protectors in, it's great that they come with their plastic on them, so they're not scratched. But the downside is, is you basically have to take the protector apart to get all the plastic off of it, because it gets kinked in the bottom. If you've ever had to remove this stuff and gotten frustrated, I can show you a really easy way to do it to get the whole piece off at once since I've removed it off probably 2,000 so far. Oh, I have some of those up in my closet. So, so Boba Fett is awesome. Literally, hold on. Before we go on to the next box, oh, we didn't look and see if she's got stickers yet. And uh, did she have tickets or something in these? I don't remember. Uh, uh I don't think so because she did a really good guaranteed value. So, I'm saying 20 bucks for that Boba Fett. Yep, that's what it was listed at. And it fits perfectly next to all my other Boba Fetts. All right. I don't even know that those were on her top picture. Let's see. Um, let's go right here. Oh, let's go right here. Nope. So we didn't get anything off page one. And those are some awesome pulls. I know I saw that, Sarah. General Grievous at a buck 30. Yes, he was at 85 when I balled it. Ooh. Oh, God. PPG oh, climbing makes me happy. General Grievous, that have been dope. I've got Grievous. I made a mistake and waffled him off, and it went to Mitch, and I begged for it oh. back and begged for it back. Finally, I put out a challenge. I said, okay, guys, I need a mint General Grievous, and I'm not paying more than 100 bucks. Go. Whoever finds it, I'll send them something for free. Jerry the Mechanic 
found a guy and offer up in his local area that had it. And we got him to come on the live and show off the pop. And I bought it right here on the live. That's awesome. Oh, it was so cool. It was epic. All right. Box number two. I can act like a two-year-old. Oh, there we go. There's hey, Derek, are you a race car driver too? No. I drive a pickup truck. Why'd you ask that? Well, Jerry, the mechanic. Oh. Uh, so I, I was referencing to a, a Primus song called uh, Jerry was a race car driver. Well, he just said Primus. Yep. Hey, there we go. Is he actually a mechanic, though? Oh, that's a good question, too. I'm a micro mechanic. I know I got one of those in the GameStop $35 box. Dude, I love this thing. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm a I'm a mini mechanic. Hey, and there we go. I change my own brakes and can rotate my tires and can do minimal work on my car and install stuff. But I maybe think a way you told me that for railroads. That's that's job. All yeah, right. Trust somebody else. Go for it. We got to go through like 17 layers of bubble wrap. There's that sticky note. And there's that sticky note. They're both in protectors once again. That one is in not a seven bucks a pop pop protector, or it's not in a protector at all. No, it's not in a protector. All right, we'll do that one first. But I mean, just so much bubble wrap. If I did this, I'd be out of business. Oh, I think I'm going to like him. It's the metallic Deadpool who is on the rise. I got that. I have him in my collection. He is getting more expensive and harder to find. She has it listed at $14. Um, I'm saying it was sitting at 31. I'm looking at 25 right now. Yeah, he changes a lot. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to look down, but we have a Star Wars pop. Another Star Wars pop, guys. This is awesome. Oh, I'm thinking it might be a Futura. But that if feels it feels like a pop sack. Yeah, it's a pop sack. It's a Futura. Oh, but if it wasn't, it here's would be a note that says yeah. thank you for so much for buying my second mystery box run. Appreciate the support, Allison. Because I open from the bottom just in case. Oh, okay. So we got R2D2. Yesterday his PPG was 34 bucks. And I sold the shared and target sticker, the last set I had. So now I have an extra R2 and an extra Stormtrooper left. Good boxes. I'm happy. Nothing to complain about. Allison did excellent. That yep. box was over what I paid for it. So that 25 and 34, right? Or did it change? Uh, future R2 is 34. So 25 and 34, we math it up a little bit. That's like almost 60 bucks. And then on the other one, based on her calculation, at the time, we had 22 and we had one that's staying at 20. So both wins in my book. Um, I'm happy. I'm really happy. I have both ends of Maul Saber on the way. That's dope. That's from the Disney store. See, the, I didn't buy these ones. I actually have another one of this someplace, and then I have like one of the Cooper, like blue uh, Luke's uh, or Anakin's Skywalker. Yeah, lightsaber. But uh, the next one I'm gonna buy, I'm trying to go to Disneyland and build it. See, I would want to go when I go. I told my wife we're going to Disney World next year. As our youngest child finishes kindergarten, we said we'd take him. Manticore from Onward. Man, I didn't keep up with those pops. It's at $2. What? I love the noises. Oh, yeah. They got the sensors in there. I want to know what's the difference in a Black Series FX and an FX Elite. Oh, you can do a comparison video. I have to. Yeah. 
this thing like have a has like the stickers on it. <laughs> I have a stunt saber from um, Ultra Sabers. Pulled that out of seventy five dollar mystery box. Ooh. No sound. It's a stunt saber, so you can fight with these. Like you can battle with these. It's got a set screw that holds the thing in. There's nothing special about the lights. It just comes on, but it's got the cuts and the hilt. It was actually one of the handles I was looking at buying. So I was oh. very happy with this too. $75 hilt. It's the basic light package. You had a chance of getting sound in a $75 mystery box. I said, why the heck not? Oh, but yeah. Now I'm all about getting the real lightsabers, like the, the replicas of the real ones. I will get to Disney World. Depending on how much money I have at the time, I will build at least one lightsaber. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of people go in there. I think they, it's like two hundred and fifty bucks. But uh, two twenty five. Last I heard. Yeah, it's like rough estimate. I've never been, so I don't know. And never. I don't know which one I build. But I heard you can also like uh, trade for and get other crystals throughout the uh, area and stuff. Yeah, you can go in the store and buy the mystery crystals where you get a mystery package and you open it and everybody's in search of the black crystal for some reason. All right, replacement mouse pad is here. I got to mail the junk one back. That's literally falling apart. Um, and then we got an Echo Dot. I will make sure to tune it to my voice so y'all can't tell Alexa what to do. I did not get... Um, Google, because I did not want that, and I did not get the S word because I didn't want all my Apple devices going off. <laughs> so I went Alexa, because I don't have anything else Alexa. And this one has the clock in it. I thought that was cool. So I'll be able to tell her to turn my lights blue. I won't have to push two buttons. Hey, score. It was on sale on Amazon, and I've been wanting one, and I don't need the music. I literally have an awesome sound system. That's RGB to have from LG sitting here. So, and it was only like 45 bucks. How do I get this out of here? You gotta have like super tiny human fingers or break the box. And of course, all right, we'll get that hooked up later. We'll let y'all try to make it work on another video. Um, I'm super excited, man. I filled the spot from the boba that they asked. Somebody said, I need that boba to complete my collection. It was the black, not the Futura, but the ECCC one. So I need one again. But he said, man, I hate to ask you to pull it out of your collection, but I saw it and I've been searching for it. Would you put it up for auction? I said, sure. Um, you know, I'm always, if it's not something that I'm emotionally attached to, something I just like to have as part of the collection, I will just about always help somebody out if I can. Sometimes I regret it. Like when I was begged to put future evader uh, or uh, grievous up and I did. And, but I have been begged so many times to put Joker two pack up at an auction starting at $500. And like seven people are like, I'm in on that $5 increments. What's up? K Titus. Hey, Titus, how are you, dude? I don't think y'all want to see me hook all this crap up. It's probably a little process. Nah. <laughs> you register it to your Amazon account? It's like the easiest thing in the world. Do you uh, read any of Amazon the has made... Comments? Do what? Do you read any of the Star Wars comics at all? I do not read anymore. Um, I used to love to read. I do not have time to read. When I sit down to decompress, I watch YouTube. So sure. there are three main things, channels I watch. Well, not channels. Three main topics I watch on YouTube. One is the pop community, of course. Uh, actually it's four. One is off the ranch and like what's inside family. I like those vlogs where they spend all that money and do all the good editing to produce a movie quality vlog. Um, I do enjoy those. Um, I've been watching off the ranch since his kids were little and seeing them grow up is really cool. 
and he's building a mansion right now that was abandoned. I don't think um, I remember. When he dropped that first video, it hit number two in the most watched list. Wow. I'd have to check yeah. that out. His Demolition Rich channel is uh, demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a shirt from him that says, um, oh, what is it? Demo against demonetization. Because when you show pew pews, they will demonetize you. But he gets sponsors. I found out that to be a sponsor on one of his shows, it's like 50 grand. Just but he gets people oh, like Simply I Safe and HelloFresh to sponsor his shows. The reason why I asked uh, about comics is my uh, I just did my comic book run today. Even though they're not open, they have a curbside like four hours a week. So I got in that little slot. Oh, so you picked up your weekly pickup. Yeah. So if I run through the stack of comics that I have that I'm not interested in keeping, do you think you might want to buy some from me? Uh, depends what it is, but maybe Star Wars. Most likely. I don't have a single Star Wars comic. Uh, I am looking for the dark, some of the Dark Knight, uh, Dark Knight's metal, like tie-in issues and stuff. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've got a variant cover of "You're the Villains of Joker's Prison Cell." That's really, really bad looking. And I got a couple signed comics too. Hmm. See, I'm just like fresh into the comic game, so I don't know much. The Dark I blame Knight. JB. JB, definitely. JB and Wink Inc. are like so, got me back into comics. How long have you been in the pop community? Um, I've been watching channels for about a year. I only made my own channel back in January because why not? So why Flash Ray Video? Um, so and when I was in eighth grade, which was a long time ago, um, I'm 32 now, so uh, I can't even do math. I'm tired. I worked all night. But uh, eighth grade, I, Flash Ray was my game handle, and I came up with it uh, looking between a flashlight and an x-ray. Okay. So, I mean, I was in eighth grade. We all make dumb names, and it kind of just stuck. I actually still have that character on that game till this day. See, and I was I, smart. I, I locked the door. Unless it's my wife, I won't have kids show up in my live and Copa get involved. Oh. Um, it drives me crazy. I hit all the cables on my desk, but I have to change a USB cable and a... Display port cable over every morning to my work laptop. Really? Go away. He's beating on the metal. He's about to get his butt beat. He's not supposed to be down here. My whole backyard's torn up right now. I had the drone up today, which is this beauty right here. Let me put a battery back in her so y'all can see the full glory of her. It's a Mavic Pro 2. And I always wrap my drones to protect them. But this is the Completely compact, awesome Mavic Pro 2. I want a mini because you don't have to have a license to fly those. But I shot a bunch of drone footage today. Um, one of them showed up this morning seeing the yard before it started. Hmm. I've put, um, I've got a Batman who maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, I put some video up quickly once the Bobcat was here. But I didn't shoot all the progression of the yard the way I wanted to today. In a time. Uh, my GameStop guy called me and said, hey, your lightsaber's here. And I'm like, all right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Oh, hell yeah. I would have dropped everything and went to GameStop. And I had to go pick up 30 bags of topsoil for my wife. Which is a detour after GameStop. So it worked out, right? It is. <laughs> my kids are screaming at the door and I'm just ignoring it. I have stuff delivered that I don't have in my hands. So maybe I got more packages. Because that definitely didn't come. I got a new bed in the mail today, so I'll be setting that up this weekend. What I like about Amazon, though, is they typically take a picture when they put it on your porch. 
And it's definitely an Amazon tracking number. So it came separate from everything else. It's weird what they ship and what everybody else ships. Um, awesome boxes. Somebody remind me to tag her because I don't do that very often. I don't show off my pulls. If anybody is into the HR Puff and stuff, I know that's a pop that was very sought after for a while. Witchy Poo, not my thing. Um, I'm down for trading. That's how I got the wicket. And that wicket's dope. You can see the smile on my face. I mean, I'd rather have blue chrome Star Wars, but that wicket is awesome. Yeah. That was one of the top pulls in one of the Star Wars mystery boxes I played in. And two of the others were Blue Chrome Batmans. So. They're screaming, Daddy, you got a package. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I got a box of absolutely nothing you'll be interested in, but since we like box openings, I'll open it anyways. Um, I got a mid-sized case for my computer, never planning to do what I did to it. I wish I'd gotten a full-size case. So I got things to make cable management easier and to make cables on the desk easier too. Um, I watch a lot of Linus Tech Tips, which are hilarious. When my mouse sets its DPI, for some reason, the camera freaks out every I single time. What was that. I was like, what just happened? Am I tripping out? Yeah, so if I don't touch it and it sleeps a little bit, when it wakes up, it goes to its preferred DPI because it's a gaming mouse. Oh, yeah. Um, and when it does, for some reason, the camera adjusts. I don't know why. So these are cable sleeves that are cut to length and Velcro wrap. Amazon Basic. And then it also recommended these things for running cable, which will go under the desk and get rid of the zip ties and along the desk to oh, hold the chargers crazy. and stuff. Just trying to keep a clean workspace. If you ever saw my last desk, that okay. was third the size. Set up to where like all the cords are already in the back, but I had to build a board at the bottom to block off my cats from getting down there. Hmm. I put one, two, three, four, five, six drop points in my desk. You as well. I am having a wonderful day. Yes. Today has been a great day, Christina. Last night's live was awesome. I had some fun. Um, we might go live tonight. I do not know. Um, I just don't care anymore. I'm going to go live when I want to go live. Um it's all about positivity on my channel. Um, and we're going to continue to be happy and play and have fun. I have, what is what is HR Puff and stuff? Can somebody please tell me? I have no clue. I'd like to know that as well. I don't either. This is a cool looking pop, but I have no clue what it is. I want to say it sounds like it would be like an author of like a book or something. Somebody in the chat will know. Or Google it. If we go live tonight, we will play around the Jackbox, and I will do another giveaway. And if you saw me last night, I packaged up Angel's giveaway on the live, printed a shipping label, and before I got off the live, it was ready to ship. Um, mm -hmm. Cool thing, though, with PPG changing so much, um, I think it was a Creepy Kid show. Okay. I never liked Creepy Kid shows, like Goosebumps. So this guy, when I got him, he's 19 bucks. He's up to 23 bucks now. Oh, and Grambino's Pop Shop. Awesome dude on Instagram. Go check him out. We did a trade. Um, I did a Freddy Funko soda can and the Riddler from the old Batman show, like the orange box, for Jeffrey as Batman to put with my Jeffrey as Iron Man. Hey, that's cool. And I sent him some pins and a Blucas pin, and he sent me some pins. 
And he just kept pulling stickers out. Hey, man, you like Iron Man? I'm like, yeah. Here's an Iron Man. I'm like, cool. 1969, the HR Puff and Stuff or whatever show. Creepy kid show. Well, if anybody is into creeping kids out, I have Witchy Poo. <laughs> weird name. Uh, not as weird as Poop Dick, but weird name. Um, <laughs> Grambino also showed me if you'll take a pop protector and you'll do this to the back of it and roll it, it will make it lay almost completely flat. I do that. I did not know that one. I actually learned that on my own because I bought one of those 100 stacks for the first time, I don't know, a few months back. And uh, I was oh, throwing stacks and I was like, whoa, I can bend that and mold it this way and I can stack it and it won't fall forward. Have you ever taken a new vaulted vinyl, slid the paper out of it and pushed it together? No, I've never tried the vaulted vinyl ones. Bro, I pre-ordered. They dropped a 10% off of the pre-order. I bought 80 more of them. Um, I need to buy them. The thing that's annoying is you have to take them and unwrap the wrapper that's around all of them, and they zigzag it. It's a pain in the butt once you get it off. They're great. Um, but you pull the paper out. There's no plastic on it because they're scratch resistant. You literally just squeeze it together. You're, you're talking it. about these ones, similar to this, where you have to peel off all this crap. Is that a seven bucks pop pop shield? It sure is. Oh, dude, I got thousands. Of, well, I've had thousands <laughs> of those. I have quite a few right now. Um, I got some over here. I've got what I've got, and I'm trying to hold out until Lucas pop shields are in. So, if you didn't hear me talking, Lee at seven bucks a pop, great dude. Um, trusted me enough as a reseller to allow me to get custom protectors like Zobi and Smy and Spastic and a bunch of others. Oh, that's cool. I have to try to sell 5,000 in a year, but it shouldn't be hard because I'll go through two or 3,000 on my own. And everybody has been telling me they're waiting. The downside is you got to buy a 200 pack to get it shipped directly from them. I can have that done. But when you get a 200 pack, they're very, very cheap. Hmm. So I buy as a retailer. Um, right. Retailers. If people want more waffles for pop armors, I will order another case of pop armors. Y'all just need to tell me. I don't mind doing that because I need a few more. Um, I'd one day love to have like a whole wall of nothing but pop armors because you could stack from floor to ceiling and have no wobble in it whatsoever. Oh, I know. That's so cool. If you put one little piece of double-sided tape on the sides of the box where they all stuck together, you can ride a bike at that thing and probably not knock it over. <laughs> so pop shields are awesome, but vaulted vinyls, because of the way they mold their corners, I've never tried to undo one, but it's flat like this. It's literally just that, and it's formed. Oh, wow. And then you bend the sides back, and you bend them all the way in. Mm -hmm. They show you how to do it, how to not break it. You go back, and then you go all the way in. And then you roll this tab down. And what I really like is instead of using a locking tab, you see how it's curved on the top? Can you see that? Oh, yeah. So what it does is it locks in. So instead of having the tab, I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. There's a little bit of it. It locks into that back flap. So all you got to do to open it is reach in and grab it and lift up. And it comes right out. I asked them about um, retail pricing on protectors. And they said only if you're buying 2,000 or more at a time. You need armors. Okay. Um, I will be ordering a pack of armors then. Um, we got 13 folks here. Do y'all want to do a waffle? Do y'all want to just hang out for a minute? Um, I got a little while before dinner. Even though my tummy's telling me it's dinner time now. Um, I'm kind of up for whatever y'all want to do. And I'm like, let me know. New to waffles. 
<laughs> Angel comes in and says, let's do a waffle. Is anybody interested in witchy poo here? I don't think we got the crowd for that one. Eh, we might because we got a couple in here that love to play waffles. We do it at 250, 10, and 1. Okay. So I don't do much over PPG. That literally just covers my shipping. Bradley says no itch. Um, and we got some guys in here that have hard at eyesight. So we try to describe what it is, but I talked about witchy poo enough. Pretty sure he knew what it was. Um, we also pulled metallic Deadpool from box lunch exclusive. If anybody needs it. Um, let's see what else did I get in that I haven't shown y'all. I'm looking, I got a bunch of stuff in the bands for arms boxes. I just have to say how cool it is that they curated 200 plus boxes with everything being monsters or villains. Well, I mean, villains, I can't, I don't see it being too difficult, but monsters is a little bit. There's not too many of those. I don't really see that being too difficult either. All right. I'm going to need some PPG. Can you look up um, the Batman imposter, the white Joker real quick and the devastator and see what their PPG is. We might do a, something in two because I have multiples of both of these through mystery boxes. Nonetheless, And the Devastator, I think, is now vying for the heaviest pop. It is. It's on the pound. I'll still ship it at 8 ounces. Yeah, I'd put this one at 10 ounces. Waiting for my ad icon band for ours boxes. I'm waiting for so many, I couldn't even tell you how many I've ordered. Because until my Shopify account linked up for some reason, finally did. And now I'm getting text messages before I wasn't. So, so that Devastator is looking at 35. And let me find the. Uh, this is the Joker's Wild. If you've never seen the back of them, I have one upstairs in my house. The back literally has um, the Joker face painted on the back of them. It's hilarious. I love this pop. Um, if you'd rather have the Entertainment Earth sticker, I can go get the Entertainment Earth sticker box from upstairs. Um, send you that one and I'll keep the special edition sticker. I do not care. Joker's Wild's running at 20. Okay, so we're at 55 and he's going to go priority by himself and he's going to go that. How about a 7, 10, and 2? How about we do a 7, 10, and 2 for these guys? And in all honesty, the last one, the the, the one that's, that's last man standing can pick which one they want. If y'all want a quick waffle, and then that'll pad my PayPal enough that I'll go buy pop on. See, watch. My, my camera's about to freak out. See? <laughs> At least you can predict it. I wish it wouldn't. But I've tried to change the settings to stop that from happening, and it doesn't stop it. I don't know why. You can't make your mouse not sleep or what? All right. Well, let me put a start line in here. No, because it's wireless. I guess if I wired it, maybe. What's really cool is the charger, they give you a USB adapter to plug the little dongle into. Right. So it's charger or it's the thing. So to plug the mouse in, you unplug that and you literally. That is so cool. Plug it in. Yeah. I like gaming mouses. I got a simplistic one. Um, don't pay that angle. Simple gaming mouse. Like right. six Do additional what? buttons. That's all I have is a simple six button gaming mouse. Um, I have a Logitech. That was eh, somewhat expensive. That's wireless. That's RGB. That was just the three button. It had the one in the center for DPI. This one, I put useful buttons on it. That's copy. That's paste. And that one up there 
it is refresh for the chat and for work. It's functional. So we'd be seven, 10, and two. Um, first, last. First, slash, last. Ooh, let me find you. All right, there's your start line. I already put that one away. And do y'all want to play some Jackbox tonight? I do need to know that. That will determine whether I put off my homework for another night or not. What is Jackbox? Uh, Quiplash. I think we can make that happen, Sarah. Probably go live somewhere around 8, 8.30 my time like we always do. Um, try not to make it such a late night and maybe we'll get two games in tonight. And then we'll do a wheel with two people on to see who's going to win a giveaway. Um, like I've said, I'm down for a giveaway every single live, but people would start having to cover the little bit in shipping and I'd let you pick a pop you want. That's a common. Um, shipping is a killer when you just keep giving stuff away. But do we have any interest in the waffle? Angel put two. If we don't, we can put it back. Not a big deal. Um, other than that, I will go look through the house. I do have the FYE card Dune. I have some Mandos. I might have a Star Wars pop or two I'd be willing to put up. I've got some horror pops, some commons. I've got a Chrome Trooper and an R2-D2 left. I've got a Silver Chrome Vegeta. Just looking. And we might do one of the Pokemon waffles tonight. So I think we're going to do it by the pictures I posted with the 10-inch Pokemon. Oh, no, that's cool. With a 10-inch Pokemon and then the two or three pops that go with it. I think that might be cool tonight. Um, i got to figure out if Miami has shipped my pops. Yeah, it was actually the uh, Batman the Merciless pop that got me back into comic books. Because I was like, where's this character from? And sure enough, I do research and I'm like, oh, that's an awesome series. And now I'm trying to get the whole series. There's that one. Hmm, I wonder who that one is for. Um, I'm loving Teladoc. Because once again, I get to sit at the same computer and do everything. Um, what am I looking for? I squirreled a little bit. What was I looking for? I literally can't remember. It's okay. Yay, we got the shipping notification from Lifetime. Let's see when it's coming. That's the playground. It's coming through ABF. It's set to be delivered on... I don't know. It was ordered on 5-4. It shipped today. It's coming through ABF, so it's actually coming in a crate. Instead of doing wood, we bought metal. Slide a pole into a bracket, push a bolt through it, because my kids know how to tear stuff up. Projected delivery is Thursday, 528. Man, that sucks. About a week and a half, or yeah, about a week and a day, actually. Yeah, maybe it'll go quicker, but it's freight. What do you expect? Yeah. And it says they put it at curbside. Oh, boy. 
So the website when I ordered the night before had showed that it was a week back ordered. And then when I ordered it showed it was it was in stock. Come to find out it wasn't in stock. They actually manufacture each one to order. Oh wow. I'm sure it's putting the parts together and packaging the box. Um, and we couldn't do as big of one as I'd like to do because believe it or not, you want a six foot safety area around everything. Makes sense. So imagine swings and a slide and um, the little clubhouse that has all kinds of sensory stuff on the floors and on the walls little things to play with textures to feel things to be great for Lucas. Um, and then it's got a pull up bar on the end of it for the big boys. But it's going to be a 20 by 20 pad full of pea gravel. I'm really hoping we don't have issues with throwing gravel. Yeah. Pea gravel is pretty good for, for a little playgrounds. I used to be a landscaper. I've built a couple actually. Well, we looked at the options and we went pea gravel because it drains very well. Yep. And it doesn't get hot, and it's not sharp on feet. Yeah, tan bark sucks. Like, it's horrible. Sand, it gets everywhere. With the pea gravel, um, you can clean it easily with the blower or something. With If it gets leaves on it or something, really easy to clean up. You got my white token. <clears throat> what are the white token? Now, I bought some of those random left around the shop boxes. The ones he found, he posted them. He said they're ready to ship. I bought the last seven he had. I haven't gotten a Bench Farms box yet. But they're uh, like the I'm best ones out right now, I think, other than Pop King Paul. I'm addicted to buying Bench Farms boxes. That's what I've heard from everybody. They're just, they have awesome pools. I've seen tons of videos. Oh, yeah. So, to clarify, I never told y'all what I was trying to say. I have Darth Raven's Force FX Elite Lightsaber, which will do multiple colors. Um, he's supposed to be played by Keanu Reeves in the next movie, which is extremely exciting. And I have. Mace Windu's lightsaber and I was told that the only reason it was purple in the movie is because Samuel L. Jackson said I'm going to carry a lightsaber it's going to be purple yeah he also has it inscribed on the lightsaber BAMS has what inscribed on it I, I had to abbreviate it but no you can BAMF yeah oh really yeah that's a, definitely a Samuel L. Jackson thing. Okay. Um, and then from GameStop, we have, oh, in the Clone Wars, how do you say the villain's name that has the two curved blades that connect together to make that funky looking lightsaber? Um, which one? Asashi or whatever. Oh, Asajj Ventress? Yeah. I ordered, pre-ordered her lightsaber today. It's an elite oh. FX at GameStop. And Dooku's lightsaber. Yeah, Asajj is basically like Ahsoka's rival. So I'm waiting for them to drop another Ahsoka drop, and I'll have hers too. I don't know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> That's what I say with everything I buy. Now, I bought a bunch of his true mystery boxes where it was a bunch of white boxes, and he said after so many sell, he'll reveal the grails. I don't care what they are. But I bought a bunch of those, especially if I can get the buy three, get one free. And if he cancels somebody's order and it was a buy three, get one free, then another buy three, get one free is available. Hey, my Barnes and Noble opened back up finally. I wonder if I had been there the first morning they opened, if I'd find anything good. Because I saw somebody mad because... They went to their hot topic the day it closed, and they literally were looking through the doors at a chase sitting on the countertop. <laughs> That'd crush my soul. Um, a little bit. I can't begin to tell you how many boxes I have coming. <laughs> I go to my hot topic almost every Thursday when they were open because that's 
their shipment day. And uh, I would always get there for, you know, trying to get that chase first. The last three times I have gone, I was literally next in line and they ran out. So I have the benefit of knowing somebody and I buy a bunch from him. So at least one chase is always hidden for me. Oh, it's it's starting to be like that now, though, for me, because I'm really cool with the management, or was. But, like I said, they haven't been there in like two and a half, three months almost. But they were paying them while they were off. I don't think the whole time. They said they'd continue to pay them. Because my, my company, we got paid for a month, and then they furloughed like 40,000 people. And I was furloughed for literally a day and a half before my manager called me and was like, hey, we need you to come back. <laughs> so I, it was it was really lucky and I was I didn't have to do any of the un unemployment stuff. So it, it it's worked out. Well, I never stopped working. I got told one day, hey, you're now teleworking. You have an hour to get home and get back online. <laughs> wow. Actually, I think it was two hours because they knew there'd be technical difficulties trying to boot up the first time at home with my laptop. So you had two hours. So, of course, I stopped and got lunch on the way home because it was lunch. It was almost lunch break. Yes. And we came home and plugged in the laptop and away we went. Um, I wouldn't have the room to even like store 70 boxes. I'm crowded after like four or five. So after the ones you have now... You have 70 left, Tori? I have no clue how many I have. I asked Nick about the 12 limit. He said that's in the first few days. If there's still ones up and you want to go buy more, go buy more. So I bought from the metallic DC one like four different times. <laughs> Nick told me he'd check one night, and I asked him, and he didn't get to check. He's a busy dude. Um, but it's literally just him and his brother packing all those mystery boxes. You know how much that would suck? It's a lot of work. Uh, two days, 519 to 520. So through today, um, up to 50% off pre-owned games, 19.99 and under at GameStop. By two, 20% off. By three, 30% off. Four, 40% off. And five or 50% off. Oh. So Man, check the deal of the day, too. Deal of the day is T-shirts. Oh, I don't even know. We like seven bucks. I like hats. I, I, I mean, t-shirts are cool. I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt right now, but uh, I like hats. I'm not wearing one right now, but I have my own hats for the other side of the business. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like dad hats, like the really relaxed fit, belt oh, yeah. on the back dad hats. I like the flat bill. I don't mind if it's snapback or sized. I, I can't wear sized. I don't like flat bills. I like a dad hat. I have dad hats. So I like hats in general, though. Made to keep the sun out of your eyes and be comfortable. But, like, I have a good chunk of fig pins that I thought I'd never start collecting, and I did. I need to get uh, rid of a bunch of fig pins. But, like, I like to accessorized kind of so this is like a bakugo hat and i have the bakugo fig pin on there if you need logo pins if you're into that the ones that just say like fig pin on it i've never jumped into it don't i have 18 of them oh my goodness yeah it's an addiction but i have the disney um D23, disney con whatever you want to call it toy story 400 piece gold set um, I have the metallic Iron Man. I love him. The, the like the multicolored one. What's up, Ian? Did uh, you ever get the uh, the forty year Empire Strikes Back pins? Don't start with me on that. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> I went to the drop and they were sold out. Oh, I wow. wanted Luke on the Tauntaun. Wait, what? Oh, that one. I'm 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 talking about uh. These oh, ones. the ones at Target? Yeah, I got those. Yeah, okay. I, I wanted that Luke on Tauntaun, too. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get it. All the bots got it. But I also have pins like that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 
Let's see. I have. I got this one from the Disney store. We don't have one of those anymore. I was trying to get the series and then I gave up really quick. Because every time I'd go to the damn Disney store, uh, they'd already be out. But this is my favorite hat, probably. So it's all the Dragon Ball characters. And I have a fig pin of each character that's on the hat. I bet that's heavy as crap. It, it is, but it's good for windy days. <laughs> okay. But it's not too, it's not too bad. But you can definitely feel the difference between this one and a in a normal hat. But I do get compliments on it all the time when I'm wearing it. Hmm. My son has so many keychains and backpacks. No, because my wife likes. I'm like out, I'm out of the fig pin game. <laughs> my if wife. anybody wants to buy a mass collection of fig pins of what I have left, I will sell all of it. Ian, you literally came in as I'm about to sign off. I'll let you in for two seconds, bro, but I'm literally signing off to go have dinner. What's up, man? Oh, oh my goodness, man. I, oh, wow, man. I found a really, really, really good, you know, ha, 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 you know, uh, funny, you know, he T-shirt. Now, eat. Snack. <laughs> nice nap and snacks. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. I keep trying to find good child shirts and I can't. And uh, that one too. Also, I found two. Cool. I like that one. Oh yeah. I got this one today, Ian. Sweet. I just can't help it. I love it. Oh, dude. Okay. I've been playing with my lightsaber for like years and years and years. I need the belt hook now. But can you take the blade out of these? I don't mine I don't think you can. No. Not like the ones you make at Disney. Okay. Uh, there well, was man. a dorky kid that decided to take his lightsaber to an experience where you got to take pictures with Vader and all the other Sith and all the other characters. And um, Vader was not a fan of his uh, green lightsaber. Um, yeah, so anyway, I helped my mom to um, uh, to uh, cook the, um, the, the, um, 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 well, because I'd be making t um, some t t Tacos. We like tacos in this house. Yeah. Okay. So, bye. Later, man. All right, guys. Hopefully, I'll see y'all tonight. If I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. We'll see what happens. But three things always. Do something today to make tomorrow better. Help somebody in need and never take anything for granted. Y'all have a great day. It's over. Better, guys.